Hi there! Today I'm going to do a very quick and very informal review of a new program from ProDad. It is called their Merkelly V4 Plus Video Stabilization Software. Check today's date, December 13, 2014. That's important as a reference. Okay, let's get into this. I'm going to show you a few video samples that I rendered using their software. So the first thing I did, and you can do this too, go to the ProDad website, which you're seeing on your screen right now. Go to the page Merkelly V4 Cell Plus Video Stabilizer CMOS Correction and play their sample video. And this is promo, and it's really good. It shows a lot of very solid, uh, well-rendered, stable video that they've created with their software. And I was impressed. So you can scroll down if you want, and you can see other videos they created and read all their promo stuff. And it's great. And then I clicked on this gray button that says try. And that means I downloaded their trial version, their sample product. And, um, and I'm going to show you some clips I made with it. But first, look at this price. $239 is the base price for the software. Now, if you think about it, you can probably buy a handheld stabilizer for 100 bucks for your camera or a three axis gimbal for 300 plus bucks. But anyway, that's something to think about because this software better be really damn good if it can replace these handheld gimbals and uh, stabilizers. Okay, check this out first. This is the demo version, the trial version that I downloaded of the Merkelly V4 stabilizer program. And uh, check out this top part because they're definitely catering to action cams because they can uh, synchronize the settings with your camera to the software, I guess. So I haven't tried this part. I just use the generic one because I use my Canon G30 camera, which is not an action cam. Okay, here we go with my video. So here's my first sample video that you can watch. By the way, I'm using my Canon G30 camera, which creates very high quality video, and the camera itself has internal stabilization, which is very good. You are now looking at the raw video right off my camera. You can tell I'm simply walking with the camera in my hand, trying to keep it as stable as possible. I am now going to show you the stabilized version of that same clip. I added color correction and I also slowed it down to half speed so you can watch the details with better clarity. What you're looking at is the stabilized video after being processed by the Merkelly software. What you should be looking for is, can you tell I'm holding this camera in my hand as I'm walking? The railing on the left hand side should give you an indication. Is this camera floating or can you tell I'm still walking? Let's move on to sample clip number two. Now keep in mind, I am simply walking with the camera. I'm looking through the viewfinder and trying to keep the camera as stable as possible using my eye and using my hands. That's all I have. Just like before, I am now going to show you the stabilized version of that same video clip. Now apart from the color correction that I put into it, what I want you to watch for is does the camera lens appear to be floating through the air and you don't notice it? Or can you still tell this is a camera held in the hands of someone who is walking? That's what this video software is trying to correct for. This is my sample video number three shot with my Canon G30 camera. Nothing has been done to this video at all. It is straight off the camera, unedited so to speak. And as you can tell, I made this a tough one. I moved the camera up and down. I kind of shook it a bit. I'm trying to actually make it look like some kind of Hollywood movie as I walk along. But as you can tell, the camera is pretty unstable because I have it in my hands and I'm moving it up and down. Now this video clip is going to be a real challenge for the software to handle because there's so much motion going on in it. I mean, I'm walking to my right, stepping over snow, trying to keep the camera level in my hands, which is impossible to do. So you got to go back to the original video and check this one out again to see how stable does it look now. Is the camera floating through the air or can you tell I'm just walking, holding it and trying to keep it level? And here's one shot. I'm going to go down low and then pan up like it's some kind of Hollywood shot. You check it out. In your opinion, does it look like I'm doing this by hand or is it actually floating? Is the software doing its job and making this look really, really smooth? So this is my final test shot video. And as I walk along with the camera in my hand, shooting video into the sun of a lighthouse, it's actually pretty stable even the way I'm doing this. It's not too bad. So in this case, the software should make this look damn near perfect. And once again, here's the stabilized version of that same video clip. 
Now, is it perfect? Does it look like a Hollywood shot to you? Is this video rock solidly stable? Or can you tell it is me walking along, holding this camera in my hand? Or is the camera simply floating through the air, magically looking like a Hollywood screenshot? Anyway, it's your decision. What do you think? Okay, so there you have it. That is my review of this brand new stabilization software called Merkelly V4 put out by ProDad. So that is the very first video I've ever taken and used and run with this software. So how did it turn out? Is it stable? Does it look good? And don't forget, I am using the trial version. I don't know if the full version is better. I mean, the trial version puts that little watermark in the bottom right corner, but is the full version a better program? You know, if I practice with this a little more, did more videos, would it turn out better and more stable? Got to ask myself that. And the final question, the biggest question is, is this video software worth $239 plus tax or whatever other charges go along with it, as opposed to buying just a handheld stabilizing unit for your camera. So you got to ask yourself that, but I hope my review helped you and showed you what this video package looks like after it stabilizes video. So I'm going to keep playing with it. At least I have this uh, trial version and we'll see what it's like. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope I helped you. Bye for now.